What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today I want to talk about 5 awesome Android apps or games to try out during quarantine. These are games that I personally have started playing myself, so I wanted to share them with you. Some of you might know that I usually wasn't a gamer, like I wouldn't play any games, especially on my phone, but that has changed. I'm still not a gamer, although I would love to be one but I have been really enjoying playing these games. If you're watching this and you have an iOS device, chances are you might be able to get most of these games on your device as well. Just a heads up. Anyway, without further delay, let's dive right in. Number one, Call of Duty Mobile. This is by far my favorite game on mobile. I was never a gamer, especially on mobile, but this game really made me realize how much I love gaming. Okay, I'm not that great, especially if I use the PlayStation 4 controller, but I have gotten much better throughout the months. I'm currently at level 91. I also think that this is the best shooter game that I've played on a smartphone hands down. The fact that it has controller support opens a whole new way to mobile gaming. Imagine if you had an iPad, because obviously it's on iOS 2, with an Xbox controller playing Call of Duty. You can take that with you on the go whenever you want, wherever you want, and play on a much larger screen. I don't have a PS4 or Xbox, so for me, Call of Duty Mobile really does the job. It's really dope. This game really changed the way I see gaming, and now I understand why gaming is so much fun, even on mobile. What's better is that when you play with a group of friends, it, it just makes the experience so much more fun. However, there is one thing. This app does require a stable connection. I've had a few instances where my friend would lose internet connection so his character in the game would just freeze and I could just consistently take him down. So make sure that when you're playing this game, you have a sustainable data connection. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you can give this video a thumbs up and turn on the bell notifications as it does help out the YouTube algorithm and pushes my content to more people. Number 2. Minecraft So, Minecraft on the Play Store is $6.99 for the full version. There are obviously ways to get the full version for free and I do remember making a video on that too, although it has been a while. I'll still leave a link in the description down below. I used to play Minecraft on my iPod all the time. I played it so much that at one point I made a recreation of my middle school. Only problem was that I didn't have the full version at the time which meant I could never clear my recents. In fact, I couldn't even exit the game. The free version wouldn't allow you to save. I would go a couple weeks of using my iPod for just Minecraft. I eventually found the full version later on. Anyway, it was super awesome building things of your own and now it's better than ever. Before there was just survival and creative mode. Now you can connect with your friends and play together. There's controller support and so much more. The fact that I can take Minecraft on the go and play it wherever and whenever I want is a huge plus. Now unless you're going to play online, you don't need any internet connection whatsoever. Number 3, Stunt Car 3D. I just so happened to find this game as I was scrolling through something new to try out. This game is really a time killer. There really isn't a huge plot to the game. You just have the car drive through certain obstacles and obtain some coins. As you get higher in levels, the obstacles do get a bit more difficult. The only thing I didn't like about this game is the constant ads. I mean, there's, there's way too many ads. Well, why do I still recommend it then? It's, it's fun. I genuinely enjoy playing this game. It's something like Flappy Bird. It doesn't have much to it. It's a simple game. There are so many games like this, but this one for some reason caught my attention. Maybe it's because it was a car game quote unquote? I don't know. It's sometimes good to have a simplistic game. One where you can just take a couple minutes out of your day and relax while playing that game. Number 4. Mario Kart. Mario Kart on Android. Hmm. Well, it brought back memories for sure. I loved playing Mario Kart when I was younger. 
I don't like how I have to play this in vertical mode. So if there is a way I can play this game horizontally, let me know down in the comments below. There is one thing though, kids will love this game. I mean, come on, it's, it's a me, a Mario. Seriously, this game is much better suited for younger children and if your kids consistently use your phone to play games, this can be one. Most of you watching are probably like me, college or high school students, so that probably won't apply. But hey, this is a nice addition to the world of mobile gaming. I really enjoy games where I can play together with my friends, and this isn't, it's not any different. On a normal day, I don't usually have too much time to play games, especially on my phone. But now that I'm home and I have more time to spare, I can actually sit down and enjoy playing some games. It's nice to see these big game titles like Mario, Pokemon, Call of Duty, and more come to mobile because one, some people don't have gaming consoles like me besides the Switch, and two, people want to play on the go more than ever before. Number 5. PUBG Mobile I've had an on-off relationship with this game. I downloaded this around the beginning of 2019 and played it for a while until I got bored and deleted the game. After I started playing Call of Duty Mobile, my friend told me to download PUBG, so I decided to give it a shot. Now, in my opinion, it doesn't beat Call of Duty, but I'm only saying that now because I, I've been playing that much longer. One main thing I love about this game is like Call of Duty, it has controller support. Now, the graphics on this game are also really good. I can tell you that watching a video isn't going to justify of how good the graphics are, especially for a mobile game. The controls are quite simple on screen. For the purpose of this video, I've been using controller which is still relatively new to me, but on screen controls like I said are easy to use. One thing to remember is data connection. You need to have a stable connection or else the game will just pause and you'll also start to notice some lag to it. If you really want to enjoy this game without any hiccups, then a stable internet connection is a must. And that pretty much wraps up this video. If there are any games that you recommend, let me know in the comment section down below. Stay home, stay safe. Anyway everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.